What's up everybody and welcome back to Hypixel Skyblock. Today, I'm going to be doing a rift guide where I show you how to max out the Montezuma pet. The Montezuma pet will give you free rift time and free mana regen, which will be useful later on. Everybody in the rift needs to do this eventually, so you might as well do it now. Also, if you don't play in the rift already, this is me telling you that you need to start. I mean, just look how powerful this necklace is. Also, the rift has multiple money making methods that can easily make you millions per hour. But that's a topic for another video, so let's get right into it. To start things off, head over to the wizard and either purchase Dimensional Infusion or get it for free. Drop down from the tower and head over to where the fairy pond would be. Next, take the slime launcher up and follow my path. Here, you will talk to an NPC which will give you a quest to search through chests. Once you do that, she'll spawn a chest next to her, and you can take the Dead Cat Detector. The Dead Cat Detector isn't that much use, which is probably why you clicked on this video. But don't worry, I'll be showing you all the locations, starting with the one only a few blocks away. Once you find the first Montezuma Soul Fragment, you have to go back to the NPC and talk to her. Then, you will receive the Montezuma Pet. For the next Montezuma Soul Fragment, go back to the Wizard Tower and go into the Rift Gallery. Head on over to where the Mirrorverse Time Charm would be, from the West Village. Next, click this button and wait for it to open. And just like that, we have the second Montezuma piece. Take the teleporter back to the Wizard Tower, and once again, drop back down. If you completed everything in the Wild Woods, head over to the Black Lagoon. Here, you meet Dr. Edwin, who will ask you for very scientific papers. You can get that paper by using lily pads and going out to the hut in the middle of the lagoon. Once you give it to him, he'll allow you to go to the Leech Supreme boss. You don't need to kill the boss, you just need to turn around and go up to the waterfall. The soul is located in a little cave behind the waterfall to the left. Once you got the soul, go back to where you spawned in and teleport to the surface. Once you completed everything in the Black Lagoon, you can head over to the West Village. And look, you can already see the Montezuma soul from here. Once you arrive at Plumber Joe's house, climb up the waterfall. You don't need to use an aspect of the leech, but it's very helpful. Then make the jump and collect the soul. The next soul piece requires you to have some progression in the plaza, but let me just show you where it is anyway. In order to collect this Montezuma soul piece, you'll need a horse Zuka, which I'll tell you how to get in the next clip. Once you've finished your progression in the Dread Farm, head on over to the Village Plaza, where there are three Montezuma soul pieces. If you talk to Cowboy Nick, he'll give you the horse Zuka that you needed for the last Montezuma soul piece. Next, head over to the florist and click on the bookshelf. Click live in the moment and you get an easy Montezuma soul. Next, we're back to plaza and run all the way behind the bank. When you arrive to the red light green light alley, you have to be careful to not move when it's red. Otherwise, you'll be sent flying into the sky and lose some time. Keep this in mind when you're doing the parkour to get to the Montezuma Soul piece. Once again, cross the alleyway, and keep in mind to not move when it turns red. Enter the living cave and head straight back. For this part, you will need fully juiced living metal on all of your armor pieces. If you don't know how to get living metal in your armor pieces, just mine the ore that looks like lapis and click on the recipes. If you drop down without living metal on your armor, you'll probably lose all of your time and die. Mine the snow block with particles coming out of it, and you will find a Montezuma soul underneath. Now, you can head back to where you fell down, and sneak to launch yourself up in the air. Once you have the living time charm, you now have access to Barrier Street. Walk through Barrier Street, and reach the parkour. You will need to parkour all the way to the house over there, and avoid the lasers because they'll knock you off. But, if you already did the parkour, you can talk to this guy and skip it. Walk into the house and climb up the ladder for the final Montezuma piece. 
You now have a fully maxed Montezuma pet, which will grant you 145 seconds of rift time and 10% mana regen. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and join the Discord. The link is down in the description below. I also do high quality live streams every day, so make sure to turn on those notifications.